tricky clinical scenarios, emotional goodbyes, and happy times. Today is the last day of my very first semester at medical school. It's been a hectic ride so far, but I've truly loved every minute of it. So stay tuned till the end of the vlog to see how I balance it all. I wake up and jump out of bed at around 7 a.m. after hitting the snooze button for a record-breaking 45 minutes today. The PBL session's at 9 though, so we got time. For breakfast, we're going with a massive bowl of Cocoa Pops. I've been recently told that some days I have the diet of a five-year-old. And you know what? I'm starting to think it's true. After munching it down, I shower and rush around to quickly get ready. I always try to make my bed and somewhat arrange my room before I leave. It really just gives you this sense of groundedness. I honestly don't know how the time moves so quickly in the mornings because it's already 8.30 by the time I'm out the door. There's a bunch of exciting stuff going on today, but first I meet my friend and head to the final PBL session of the semester. Sadly, it's my last day with my current PBL group. These are the people I've been doing all my classes, anatomy and studying with. We're closing case A today and because it was the final week, I kind of slacked off on the work. So we'll see how clueless I am during the discussion. The buses are packed, but we squeeze in the back. On the journey there, I'm listening to the audiobook with the end in mind. It's a compilation of incredibly moving stories told by a doctor who's reflecting on her 30 year long career facing death at every crossroad. Highly recommend it. Anyways, we're early today, so we take a detour to Costa for a quick coffee. I'm now entering the Stopford building and heading to the main meeting room for the cases, closing. Since there's literally two hours before the clinical skills session we have this afternoon, we quickly go to Tesco's for a snack and talk about how today went on the way back. So today we had our last PBL session off the term, SEM 1, first year. So in this week's case, we spoke about osteoporosis, we spoke about menopause, we spoke about antibiotic resistance. As a group today, I don't think we were that active. The discussion was very, very basic, but it's the end. I think at the end, half of us just can't be bothered. It's because we didn't, uh, this week's case was so light. I didn't actually end up doing it to that much detail. That's one of the issues with PBL. You're just so independent and you really don't know how far to go. So you end up doing it to a very superficial level. But I guess this is the first time we are just learning how to do it. We're going back now for clinical skills. I'm gonna see the rest of the PBL group. As usual, our group's booked a study room in the library, but when I get there, the boys are setting up Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch that they brought into uni for the last day. So we bond the study and play Mario Kart for the next hour. I'm atrocious at this game though, so I heavily flop, but it's good vibes all around. In an attempt to be slightly productive, I continue editing the day in the life video I filmed a while back. It was honestly really fun looking back at the funny footage and editing this type of video. I can't wait to make more of them. Then Guillaume joins me and we decide to bang out the summary questions of the case as we do at the end of most weeks. It's finally time for us all to go to the clinical skills center where we meet simulated patients and learn how to consult them in a compassionate yet curious way. But to be honest, today's session was a little bit more intense than usual. We were given a real case of a terminally ill teenager who refused a life-saving heart transplant back in 2008. And our task was to speak to the parents and the girl herself and try to navigate this emotional choice that she made. We're all quite tired after this, but everyone's relieved because we've officially finished SEM 1. I pick up a package on the way back, get scared by the creepy doll in the entrance, and watch the weather go from pouring rain to blue skies and sunshine in less than a minute. Since the semester is over, I'm flying back to Lahore this weekend for the Christmas break, so I spend the next few hours cleaning and packing stuff up in my room. I then change in all black and head to the gym for a long push workout. This is me, an hour later, cooling down on the bike and making weird eye contact with the camera. I don't know if it's just the adrenaline, but I always feel on top of the world after any good gym session I have. I've ordered some seafood nasi goreng on delivery for lunch and end up chilling in my room re-watching some suits. 
I'm heading to my cousin's house for the weekend before I fly, so I start getting everything together to catch my train. Except, there was a slight hiccup. These two refused to leave my room in an attempt to get me to stay longer. Only after some light threatening and getting a spoon flung at me, was I able to successfully close everything up and say my goodbyes. I'm carrying a big fat bag, so my friend has kindly agreed to drop me to the train station and has saved me from rainy Manchester. I reach the station and find out that my train has been delayed by a half hour and there's a crowd of people here waiting now. I know I haven't studied at all in this vlog, but that's the reality of it. Sometimes you just do the bare minimum, do uni stuff, go gym and have a balanced day. Anyways, we eventually get on the train and I safely reach my aunt's house for dinner. This marks the end of my first semester in med school. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos on the channel so far. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future and I'll see you on the next one.